And so we come now to a time which we call time up front. It's a time when the children of the congregation are invited to gather round and have special time with the minister or the visitor to share a few thoughts that hopefully will help the children understand how they are loved and understand what they are called to be and to become. And because we're moving towards Canada Day, I thought I would tell you a little story about myself before I share with you a few little insights. I want to tell you that I was born and raised in Quebec City. And when I tell people that, they oftentimes say, oh, you're French. And no, I'm not French. My uh, ancestors came from Ireland and from England. And growing up in Quebec City, I was very much a part of the Irish community of Upper Town, Quebec. I was told when I was a little boy, much like the little people of our congregation, that my grandfather used to talk about who he was. And he was very determined that everybody would know that he was Irish. And what he used to say was, if a cat were to have kittens in an oven, that wouldn't make them cookies. So what my grandfather was saying, if an Irishman and an Irish woman had children in Quebec, that would not make them any less Irish than if they were born in Ireland. So I grew up in a very Irish milieu. I went to English schools and English church. We spoke English at home. But on the streets and at our summer place just outside of Quebec City, there were a lot of little French people. And growing up with those little French people, I just interacted with them. I didn't know that they were French and I was English. I just learned to speak their language and share in their cultures. And we were just one big family. People who grow up together, who share time together, who share their own stories together, discover that we are all one big family. And it doesn't matter whether you speak English at home or French at home, we all come from the same source and we all celebrate who God has made us to be. We are all individuals, but that individuality we are called to share with one another. So I shared with my little French Canadian friends what it was to be Irish. And on St. Patrick's Day, I used to proudly with all the other Irishmen in Quebec City wear big ribbons, green ribbons hanging down and shamrocks. And we'd walk the streets of Quebec City and have a big parade big party at night, and we were proud to be who we are. And I think it's important for us boys and girls and mums and dads and other adults who are listening in to recognize that we are called to be proud of who God has made us to be. So I asked myself, how can I make that a little concrete for people to understand what Canada is all about? So I thought about breakfast. And for you, mums and dads and other big people at home, you might want to use my little suggestion sometime at home and reinforce what it is that I'm trying to say to the children. So I thought I would bring a little bag of goodies with me. And, and the first is a, a box of cereal. And the cereal that I brought is a very good thing. It's a cereal that's been made of grains. It's a cereal that helps to fill our stomachs. It's a cereal that makes us feel good. And we can open the box and we can have little pieces of the cereal if we want. But if that's all we do with the cereal, we miss out on a big part of that cereal. So the other thing that I thought of that would be important to reflect upon is that along with the cereal, we have something called milk. And milk is a very good thing. Milk is something that has calories in it, and it has vitamins in it. Milk can help our teeth and our bones with the calcium. Milk is a very important thing for us to share and to experience. Then I thought, you know, what else could I possibly suggest to you are good things. This is the time of year when fruit is very important to us. Strawberries and raspberries and blueberries. And at home, I happened to have an apple and I had a pear. So I brought them along. Now, if I wanted to, I could just have the cereal as a snack and eat it as I suggested. 
If I wanted to, I could just have a glass of milk, and that would be good. And if I wanted to, I could eat an apple or a pear. But on Canada Day, I thought we could look at these four things and recognize what we are called to be as a country. Not cinnamon squares over here, not milk over there, not an apple here and a pear there. But if we are to understand our country, we might put it in the context of breakfast. So we get a bowl and we pour some cereal into our bowl. And we look at it and we say, wow, that's wonderful. We have cereal in our bowl. But then we take this gift of milk and we add milk to the bowl. And right away, the cereal takes on another dimension. It becomes softer, it becomes more aromic, more tasty. The milk has added to the flavor of the cereal. Now, we can take the apple and just eat it, or we can cut the apple up and put it into the cereal as well. And the same thing with the pear. And the cereal becomes something different because we have added to it things that are good. And that's what I think Canada is about. We come from a variety of places. My ancestors came from Ireland. Your ancestors came from where you know they came from. Our indigenous people were here long before we arrived. And all of us are good and all of us have giftedness and all of us are to be celebrated in the same way that we celebrate breakfast cereal, in the same way that we celebrate milk, apples and pears. But if we left them all separately, they couldn't become what they became when we put them all together. So what I'm trying to say to us friends is little people of our congregation, people at home, there are a variety of people in our world. And if we say to them, you're good people, but you stay over there and you stay over there, we miss the opportunity of learning from each other, growing together and becoming ever more special. So just like we take cinnamon squares, and apples and pears and douse them with milk, we do the same thing with our various cultures, our languages, our faith traditions, our ways of living. We put them all together in a country that we call Canada and we celebrate that. We don't ask people not to be what they were, but we ask them to bring the giftedness that they are and make it alive in the mixture that we call our country. In the same way that we take breakfast cereal, milk, apples and pears, mix them all together and enjoy them, each bringing their own flavor and each helping us to become ever more grateful for what God has created. So I hope these few little thoughts help to put our Canada in a context, help to put each one of us in context, and I hope that you at home, next time you have breakfast or another meal, and you pull out different parts of that meal and put it all together, I hope you'll remind the children that that's what we are called to be. People who welcome each other, who learn from each other, and who celebrate the wonderfulness of God's creation.